Hello guys, welcome to Car Reviews JA. I am Jason and I will be reviewing this Audi A3. Alright, before I get to the Audi, let me show you the key fob. So you have the lock, the trunk release and the unlock button. Alright. And of course the A3 is a sedan. Alright, so this one is the S-Line Limited trim. Alright. And it has the black styling package. So as we all know, this is the Audi grill. You can't mistake it for any other brand. All right. Um, around the grill, you have gloss black. Well, that's a part of the black styling package. Of course, this is the Audi badge. And it has functionality. So at the top, at the lower section of the, the grill, you have opening so air can pass through and enter the engine room and also underneath the grill on the front lip now let's take a look at the headlights this is matrix led headlights and um, this is the headlamp washer we also have some styling here with along with the sensors the front sensors and this one is blue so let's take a look at the rim size this is an 18 inch alloy rims all right you can see the audi budget right here this is a 225 40 series tire right here we have the s line badge along with some red here we have a fully powered carbon fiber outside mirrors along with this slim and trim led indicator light on the lower section of the side sill, we have glass black, which is a part of the black styling package. All right. Now, once the car is locked, let me ensure it's locked. You put your hand right behind here. Once you have the key fob, the door unlocks. Around the window trim, we have the glass black as well. Okay. And the back rim is the same size, same tire size, same rim size. All right, so let's take a look at the rear of the vehicle. This is a stunning vehicle. This is carbon fiber spoiler, and it looks really, really good. And the spoiler creates a dome force to keep the car planted on the road. This is the A3 badge. We have the Audi badge here, and... 35 TFSI that has to do with the engine size. We have some styling here along with the rear sensors and we have reflectors. Now we're going to take a look at the trunk capacity. And I'm going to use my foot to open the trunk. And it's electric assist as well. Right? Nicely carpeted. This is roughly 308 liters or 10.9 cubic feet of space. All right. Now let's see what's down here. And we have a spear. And of course, we have a med kit, first aid kit. All right. We have all the tools necessary to change your spear. So it's really nice. And we have the rear camera right here. So now we're going to move to the interior and we're going to start with the rear seats. <sighs> All right, so at the side of the door panel, we have the door opener. Of course, stylish, like upside down. And we have the window control along with the speaker grill cover and we have some room here in the lower section of the door and another speaker grill cover here i'm going to step in the vehicle to see you the space that we have all right remember guys i'm five five that's what the id said i think i'm a bit shorter but i'm working with the five five so we have cloth interior uh, black, we have the blue and gray in the middle section here. 
You can see the gray and the blue. It's really nice. I really like it. Mm -hmm. We don't have a arm brush. Roof here we have yes, it's brown. and we have the rear lights, rear roof lights. We have rear AC vents for your passengers. We don't have any charging ports. Let's move to the front. All right, guys. So now we're at, we're in the driver's seat, and I will be showing you the driver's door. Now, this is black, of course. Here, and we have an AC vent here, so the glass won't get foggy. We have the unlock lock button and the door opener. And this is a door handle used to close the door. We have all the window controls here and the outside mirror controls. We have a speaker grill cover here and one down here. And we have some storage space right here. And this opens the trunk. I'm going to start the vehicle. Controls we have power controls. We have the lumbar support. I think we leave it's eight way and four way lumbar support. Right, so this is not a flat bottom steering wheel, but it's beautiful. Uh, it's a multifunctional steering wheel. We have the Audi badging here, and we have an opening here, glass black with some aluminum. It's really nice. All right, and the buttons are flat black, but you have some glass black as well. It's really nice. I love how it's done. The paddle shifters at the back of the steering wheel. Behind the steering wheel, we have a virtual cockpit. And this virtual cockpit is 12.3 inches of refined resolution, meaning the graphics is crisp. There are various display views to choose from, and it's equipped with Audi's multimedia interface system. It also has the light and rain sensors which allows the wiper and the external lights to work automatically. The steering wheel is tilt, a bit tilted, manual tilt steering wheel. And this controls the cruise control. You know, these con this one controls the lights, the indicators, and the headlights and so forth. Okay guys, so before we go to the infotainment system, let's take a look at the center console. So this is the armrest. It's fairly soft, it's nice. Um, inside there, probably can hold a wallet. I'm not sure about the purse. There's a purse. Purses are normally longer. Um, we have a little storage area here. Two cup holders. We have a 12 volt. We have the automatic park. This controls the automatic transmission. We have a start and stop button right here. This is the control for the entertainment system so to turn up or turn it down you roll your hands like this it sounds really good uh, nothing more than that storage area right here two usb c's the emergency light auto stop and start feature traction control and the drive select when you press the drive select, it comes up on the screen. You have efficiency mode, comfort mode, auto mode, dynamic mode, and individual mode. Individual mode means you can tune it how you want it, huh? you can customize it. All right, so let's go to home. You have radio, media, telephone, you have phone apps. All right, you have car. Let's take a look at that. So you have the drive select mode efficiency assist let's see what that is all about okay so that's economic tips right. have the ac controls you're going to control the ac you can go there lights and vision have exterior lighting you have automatic headlights of course uh background lighting so you can change the brightness. Then the rain sensor on, you can turn it off if you choose. 
All right, so you have driver assist, speed warning, so uh, you can set it how you want it, I suppose. You can um, put the speed limit, set the speed limit, and then it will warn you when you go over. Right. Settings and service. Higher pressure loss indicator. Wiper change position. You have a lot of information on this one. Right. Mainly it. And over the side too, you can just select what you want as well. Go to phone. You turn on the Bluetooth and add it. I'm not going to add it now. Alright, and these buttons, controls, you don't really see any names on it. You're going to better touch it. And you touch it. Alright, this controls the temperature. All right, this is how it works. Really nice. I like it. And this one controls where the air goes. All right. This either put it on eco on off. We can max it. Should turn it right up. This controls the fan speed, and this one is for because it's dual AC. So this one controls the passenger side. Right. Goes right across and it's really nice. It's nice as well. And you have the audio passing right here. Then you have the AC vents here and another here. This is the glove compartment, the box compartment. Up top here we have the auto dimming rear view mirror and it's frameless. The roof lights are touch lights. You don't press them or push them. You just barely touch them. And it comes on, touch it again, goes off. And the roof is made up of cloth material. It's very lovely. Here we have a sun visor opening. The light comes on. You can look at yourself. Now we're going to move to the engine bay. Okay, guys. So now we're in the engine room of this Audi A3 S line limited trim. Now this engine is a 1.5 liter turbocharge putting out 150 horsepower, 100 and roughly 82 pound feet of torque. And this is a front wheel drive. The fuel tank capacity is roughly 50 liters and it does 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 7.3 seconds. Right. Mm. Guys, we are now at the end of this review. I'm asking you please to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel so we can keep bringing you new content. Thank you, greatly appreciate it.